Hey, yo, what's up? Disciple here with Thank You Father. Just wanted to say thank you so much for checking this video out. Now, I've got some resources for you because a star test is about to come up. You can, the, the window of testing is open. I don't know when your district does it or when your school does it, but it's really important because it's about to happen, and I want you to practice. I want you to be as good as you want to be. I don't want you to say, well, I didn't know. Nobody told me where. Well, I'm telling you where. I'm going to give you everything that you need. If you want to be good, you'll go here. You don't care, then you don't care. You're probably not even watching this video, but check it out. Enjoy these resources. They're all free. You can access them from your computer. Don't do it from your phone, otherwise it's not going to work. All right, so let's go. Resources. Free resources for you to prep for your chart test, right? Let's go. This first resource is probably the most important, what's the most time sensitive, because I believe that like most of the state of Texas, if not all districts, like 90%, maybe 95% of the districts are gonna be using online testing. Now I know some of you guys are saying, my teacher doesn't give me the Desmos. I don't have the Desmos. I only got the TI-83, the TI-84, the whatever calculator, the Inspire calculator, whatever you have. I, I understand. If you're comfortable with that calculator, cool, use it. But since the tests are all online, they should be all online, ask your teacher. If they don't know, ask your teacher to ask your test coordinator. Each campus has a test coordinator. The test coordinator's job is to like make sure all the start stuff goes smoothly. So somebody knows. So you ask your teacher, hey, miss, hey, mister, is our start test online? Yes, it is. You'll be taking it on your Chromebook through some software, blah, blah, blah. Okay, cool, nice. That means you're in. Hey, Mr. Miss, is my start test online? Oh, I don't know. I think it is. Or oh, it's a paper-based test. If you have a paper-based test, then if you are using your computer, you could still use your Desmos, the star version one. That is still safe. That is legal. It's allowed. Ask your testing coordinator. If you have a, if you have a laptop and you uh, I don't know what their rules are about laptops, but if you have a laptop, you can access the Desmos star test version of the calculator, and it is 1,000% allowed. Show your teacher this video, or whatever. It's 100% allowed. It's going to be using this software called Cambium. Cambium is the software that your star test is going to run on. Now, I'm going to show you how to get into that software, not the actual star test. What, I can unlock my star test and cheat in it? No, no, no. This is just a trial, a version to preview, that way you can feel what it's going to feel like when you start your test. Because if you just show up on the day of the start test and then try it, you're going to run into some weird stuff, and it's that would be the terrible time for you to experience that for the first time. All right, so here we go. The first, this will be in the description. It'll be in the pinned comment. It'll be in the description of the video. Therefore, you open it up. It'll be Cambium Test Software. All right, here we go. When you click on that link, it's going to bring you to this screen. It says, it says TEA, practice test, blah, 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 blah. Cool, scroll down. We don't care about any of that stuff. Scroll down, 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 down. You can get blue stuff. The blue stuff that says, first part says printable PDF test. No, we don't want that. We don't want printable PDF test. We want online practice tests. This is what the start test is going to be like. Might as well practice online with the exact same software we're about to use. So please click on practice test login. Then the screen loads up. Guest user, guest session on. Who cares? Don't ever change it. Just say on and then sign in. Next screen loads up. Select a grade level. Just select grade 9. But I'm an 8th grader taking the start test. I know. Just pick grade 9. I'm a 10th grader taking the start test. I know. It's a 9th grade level test. It's not saying what grade are you in. It's saying what grade is the test in. What grade level is the test that you're about to take. And then star test, algebra 1 star test is a 9th grade test. So click on the 9. Now you got all the blue stuff. This is the new items. Your start test is going to be harder in 2022 or 2023, right? Ignore this for now. You better pass it this year. All right, here we go. Let's go down to the blue stuff right here. See how it says 2018 biology, 2018 U.S. history, English, blah, 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 blah. You can pick any year of star test you want to pick. All right, there's a 2018 star test, 2019, whatever. 20, I'm going to go to 2021 because 2021 just happened, and I want to know what the test looks like most recently. So we go to 2021 Algebra 1 star test. Oh, here it is. Click on this guy. Now it's going to give you options. Don't click on any options. Just hit select. Then uh, test settings help. No, who cares? Just click on begin test now. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, let's see what happens. What's gonna happen here? Boom, it's gonna load your test. This is exactly what your star test will look like. This is the software that you're gonna be using on your star test. You're not gonna have all these tabs on the top, so don't worry about those tabs. Yours is gonna be a full screen, you'll be locked into that software, but this is what it will look like when you're in that secured software for your star test, all right? Now, here's some pros and cons about the software. The cons are, one of the things I don't like about it is you can't really flip through the questions fast. Like for instance, number one, if number one was a big old word problem, I don't want to do that first. So, oh, uh, I want to skip it. But obviously you better know how to do equivalent. Oh my gosh, this is the easy one. You better do this one, right? But if you wanted to skip questions, if I hit next, warning you have not answered one more of the sections. Ah, uh, you gotta hit yes. Then, oh, let me skip him too. 
Let's click, click. Ah, oh, now my question three barely click, click. Ah, uh, whatever. But you can do this now. Watch, watch. Pro tip, pro tip. You see up here where it says items? These are all the questions that you've seen. And this is the next question. The black little arrow says this is the one you're on right now. The other guys say the five is that's the one we're gonna go to next. And these are the, all the ones that we've seen so far. They have a triangle because you, you haven't answered anything. Obviously, I just skipped through it, right? So check this out. You see how it has one, two, three, four, five? Well, let's go to five. Maybe it'll show the rest of them. Warning, blah, blah, blah. Says five. Go to items again. Six, ah. Uh, but if you were to click through the whole test, right? I'm about to fast forward the video of me clicking through the whole test. So if you were to click through the whole test, here's what happens when you get all the way at the very end. So I'm on the last question right now. It's been about a minute and 50 seconds. So it'll take you a good two minutes just to click through to all the questions where you unlock them all. Now when you get to the last one, it's gonna give you the same warning like, hey, you have not selected the thing. Attention, you viewed all the questions of the test. When you finish, you finish the test, then click end test. Don't click end test, we haven't done anything. But when you click up here at items, then it has all the questions. You can now jump around to all the questions that you saw. So I, I don't know if this is a good strategy or not, but it'll take you a good two minutes of your testing time to just click through and unlock them all. Now, if you want to, all right, let's go to number one. Let's see. Uh, still, okay, I know I haven't answered anything. Hey, this one looked easy. I might want to do it, all right? And then like now you can go through, and I don't, I, I don't know if you want to do it like this, or if you just want to go in the row and just say, oh, yeah, no, I don't know what, I don't know how you want to do it, but find a way to do all the easy ones first. It might be annoying, but it's only two minutes of your time if you want to just unlock them all or whatever. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. But this is the first resource. And the Cambium software, your test will look like this. Now watch. Here's where Desmos comes in. Ready? Here's where you can get your calculator. See up here in these little icons? I told my students, we're not going to use this stuff. I'm not worried about the reference materials because I don't care about it. Um, notepad, I'm not going to use notepad. I'm not going to use graph. I'm not going to use any of these things. Maybe the zoom in, zoom out. I don't know. But the calculator you're going to use. Now, the first time you click on calculator, it's going to give you the both options. It's going to say TI graphing calculator or Desmos graphing calculator. You want the graphing one or you want, you want the TI one? That's the TI 83, the, the, the TI 84. All right, let's, let's, I'm going to click on Desmos because that's what I want. I want the Desmos one. This is the, this is the best one. Click on him. Nice. Here it is. Beautiful. Hey, I got my Desmos software and it works in here. It's the same stuff. It's in here. If you want it to go away, click calculator again. You want it to bring it back, click on the calculator. You can also hit the escape button. But if you want to bring the calculator, pop it on, pop it off, whatever you want to do. Now you see this little blue arrow up here where it says like a switch? You can switch the calculators. Oh, maybe I want the TI graphing one instead. Let me get this Inspire or whatever this is. Dang, well, whatever. You could use this or not use this. I don't want to use it. I haven't used this in years. But no, I don't want that. I want the other one. Let me go ahead and switch back to the Desmos calculator. Hit the switch. Now I'm here, Desmos graphing calculator. Woo, I'm here. All right, this is how to get the Desmos graphing calculator on your Cambium Star Test. If your test is online, this is the software you can use. This is exactly how it's going to look when you take your test. All right? Exactly how it's going to look when you take your test. So, click on the link. Do the practice test, follow the steps, just, no, who cares, don't change anything, click grade 9, and then boom, algebra 1 star test, that's the one you're looking for, boom, then just say begin now, begin test, get your test, open up your calculator, oh, pick Desmos, and you have it, it'll, it'll be embedded in all of your tests, every single student in the state of Texas, when you're taking your online test, it'll be here, that's how you get it, ask your teacher if you're testing online or not, because if you are online, it's gonna, it's gonna feel just like this. And then you can practice the test. You can practice the 2021 test, the 2019 test, I believe the 2018 test, but I don't think they have the 2017 test on here. But you can do those three tests online if you wanted to. That's the first resource, is this boom, software at Cambium, soft testing software, this is where you're gonna be, all right? The second resource that you have to prep for yourself is go to Google Classroom, go, go, go to Google, search Lead Forward IQ, just the way I typed it here, all right? And you're gonna click on the first link that pops up. It'll say resources dash lead forward, right? Click on this. This houses all of the star test questions. Whenever I'm doing the little videos that I do, I pull my questions from here. I whoop, snip them, and I work them. So look, IQ investigation. What do you wanna do? What grade level do you wanna do? Well, I wanna do math, because I wanna do math subject. And then what grade? I wanna do algebra one. So let me do algebra one. I'm gonna hit next. And then it says, choose your filter. You want to do clusters, subcluster, student expectations, whatever you want. If you do cluster, it'll go like linear, quadratic, and whatever. It'll do stuff like that. I normally just choose student expectations because that's like the way, that's the order that it was taught during the school year. Then I click on next. 
Then it says student invitation. Let me do all of them, bro. All of them. Let's go. By the way, these are all the student SCs that you should learn in the whole year. All these things are all the different skills you should learn. Click the ass. All the years. Give me all the years, bro. I got 2021, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, all those years. Let's go. Click it. Now, here are the results. These are all the questions sorted by the same types of questions for those five years of tests. Ready? Here we go. Scroll down. Jump, jump, jump. Oh, first question. Here's the question. Here's the choices. And on this right hand side, here's how the state of Texas did. So look, choice F, 11%, pick choice F, choice G, 19%, choice H, 19%, and then choice J, 51% of the kids chose choice J. This question was really difficult. I just wanna do it real quick. I'm just, I haven't looked at it like this. Let's see. Let's see, which equals blah, 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 blah. the domain and range. What do you know about domain? X and all real numbers. Great job. I'm gonna do domain first. I'm not gonna worry about range. So X, all real numbers. Let's see. Domain X, here's X, negative four. Does a negative four happen on the X? Yeah, but it looks like the negative seven is more important. So I'm scratching choice F out. Choice G, yep, negative seven, that does happen. Let's see, the six, yes, that looks important too. So I like negative seven and I like six. He's good. Go to choice H, no, he doesn't have negative seven, six. I like choice J too. So the choices, the people should be picking between G and J. So I'm scratching on H, scratching out F. I see that guy, now let's go to the range. All oh, both numbers are the same, negative four and five, so I'm not worried about that. Now you see how these guys have, little, have black dots, black solid dots on here? You gotta have the symbol with a line. Solid dots means there should be a line underneath it, a solid line underneath it. So I look, need the guy with the line underneath it. Choice J has a line underneath it, boom, you would've gotten it right. All right, easy, so that's easy. You shouldn't have missed that one, 51% of the kids. You should've watched the videos, guys. It would've been better. Tell your friends. All right, that's the second resource. So you can find all the questions that you want, every single question, all the way at the end, it's quadratics and all this. All, everything that you want, scroll there, do your question, try it, and then once you're done, look at the choice right here, oh, I got it right, well, 67% of the kids got it right, well, anyways, you know, use this stuff if you wanted to, it's all in order, like, here's systems, it'll, like, it'll have the same category all lumped together, alright, check it out, do your best, alright, then the next thing that you want to do, you want, you might want to use this to practice some release start tests, so you can type in release start test, obviously, click right here on the first link, this will be in the description. You're gonna scroll all the way to the bottom. I see grades level three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, uh, here I am, high school. Then you're gonna click on, what do we want? We want English too? No, I want algebra. Where's algebra? Algebra, algebra, algebra right here. Look, these guys have the 2021 all the way back to the 2013 start test on here. So you can click on it and it'll give you the paper version. Like you can now flip through the questions easier. This is what the test was like when they gave us on paper. So here's what it looks like, and then you can use your Desmos calculator split screen with it and practice or whatever. And then if you want to know if you got the questions right, there's a little source right here. Uh, this first column, this first column are the questions. This next column is the answer key. So the answer for number one was choice B. You can use this to check yourself, whatever you want to do. But oh, the Cambium software, by the way. Whenever you do that Cambium software, let me go back to it real quick. To, speaking of checking yourself, ooh, oh, that went away. Whenever you're doing this Cambium software, ready? Let's pretend I did the last question and I'm finished. Let me end the test. Good job. Here is how you, like, this stuff, it'll score for you, right? It says, I haven't answered any of the questions. I'm so sorry. I'm about to miss it. Yes, I want to submit the test. Yay, look. You see where it says your score and the max score? The max score is one. And my score, um, like, if I had answered the questions, it'll either give me a zero or a one in this first column. And on the right-hand side, they'll all be ones. So if I got it right, it'll give me a one out of one, because I got that question right. If I got it wrong, it'll give me a zero out of one, because I missed it. So, and you would just add up all the ones, and if you would get 22 or 23 correct, you would have passed your start test, right? Those are three resources for you. I'm so sorry the video took, took so long, but you can use those if you want to, so you can get better. It's all free. Don't forget, the most important one is ask your teachers to test this online. And if you're still using those yellow calculators, yes, the yellow calculator is there for you, but the Desmos calculator is also there for you. So if you're one of the ones that was taught with the yellow one and you still don't get it and you're having a hard time, switch over to Desmos, bro. I got you. Go watch those videos and I promise you, you'll be great, all right? Y'all have a great day. Thank you so much for everything. Make sure that you're helping your teachers out, all right? You want to help yourselves out. Pay attention to the stuff that way you can, when you walk into the room, you want, you want to be a symbol of hope. Oh, yes, I'm so glad you're here. Hey, man, I need help with this, bro. I'm trying to pass a start test. And uh, I'm so glad you're here. Can you help me out? You want to be strong, not just for yourself, but you need to be strong to help the people around you out if you choose to do so, all right? So help yourselves, help your friends, help your neighbors, and help your teachers out. Make sure that you're great in class and all that stuff, all right? Because we need more heroes, all right? Y'all be safe. Y'all have a great day. Let's go get them. Yeah. Thank you, Father. It's our honor.
all your sons, all your daughters, give you praise. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father.